Christmas celebrations in Holy Loch were short and sweet, as there was much to do. USS Narwhal has sustained lots of damage on her last patrol, and weapon stores were close to empty. The dockyard workers were working overtime to patch up the boat, and USS Narwhal was loaded up with two-thirds of her armament. There was no time to finish loading more missiles and torpedoes. Tom Sublant needed the boat back in the Atlantic as soon as possible. Intel has a pretty good indication that enemy cruise missile submarines are returning home after a patrol in the North Atlantic. It was USS Narwhal's job to catch them heading back home. The newspapers are now saying the war will be over before the new year. I wish I shared that sort of optimism. Regardless though, USS Narwhal and her crew will continue to cripple the Soviet Navy wherever we meet them. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our 1984 NATO campaign in Cold Waters. We are currently searching for Soviet cruise missile submarines that are returning home to Murmansk. We actually missed them crossing the GIUK gap, so I believe we caught them off the coast of Norway trying to get back home. Let's go ahead and bring up the UI and rig for ultra quiet. Let's check the conditions here. And the floor is at 737 feet, so we are operating in kind of shallow waters here. Let's go ahead and deploy our towed array. It is indeed deploying. And we'll see if we can pick up this enemy SSGN. Let's see. Con, sonar, there we go. Sierra 1, zero, off to one, the north. Eight, designated Sierra 1. Make a course change to starboard 320. Right to 320. Helm I. And let's figure out what you are. Let's start at the beginning. Victor. Yep, yeah, looks like a Victor. Let's go with Victor 1. Con sonar Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Okay, we're going to make our turn here. What's her depth? She is operating at around 400 feet. Let's match that. Drop down to 400 feet. Make depth four, and zero, let's prep to one. All right, things are going well. I highly doubt there's only one submarine out here. According Con to this, so she's around Sierra, one, last pretty far out Sierra, there. 10,000 yards away. Probably a little less. I don't think that reading was not accurate at all. But she is quiet. Let's mark that. And move that way and see what else we can hear. We've been hunting around for this Victor 1 for quite a while now, and I think we are going to try to draw them out by going active for one, maybe two pings. And uh, well, before we do this, let's set up tube number two as well. We want both torpedoes ready to rock and roll. I'm pretty confident in our, our ability to um, evade and get out of trouble, especially with this boat. So let's do it. Switching to active search. Let's go active and see if we get a little response. There we go. We did get a response. Switching to passive search. Okay, go passive. There we go. Con there sonar. she is. Okay, Objective launch bomb. right here. Tube one fire. Tube one. I sir. Oh. Okay. Tube one away. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Go Last active. Zero, three, one. Increase speed to fifteen speed knots. Turn. Okay, and let's drop down to 500 feet. Set this right here. Okay. Perfect. Course change, new heading, 070. There we go, got her another launch right here. Looks like she is heading southeast. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1. Last bearing. Zero, go. Three, Torpedoes two, dropping in the water. 
Course change, come right. One, zero, four, helm, I. Okay, let's activate this torpedo. Still that Victor 1 that's pinging us. Okay, we've re got her. On Sierra, one, bearing, zero, three, one. And let's drop down to 650 Eight, feet now. Six, five, zero, feet, we have another torpedo coming our way, which we need to be worried about. Yep, here she is. Dropping down. Hopefully this doesn't splash right on top of us. Okay. Similar location to the other fish. Con, sonar, Sierra, one, is con, helm, okay, Victor port. 2, that's what she is. We got her. She is turning tail and running. And she is near the surface. Thankfully, our torpedo is up here as well. Let's adjust it. There we go. Looking good. Let's maintain the speed of 15 knots. Did I hear... If there's only one boat out here, that's going to be surprising. I'm still using active. Just to really try to see if there's something else out here. Because we need an SSGN. That's what we're hunting for. And a Victor 2 is not it. We'll keep searching. Okay, we got something else. CR2 just pinged. Oh my gosh, is she really that close? Okay, reduce speed to five knots. Secure. F no, keep keep using active. Maneuvering eye. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, the flow noise is starting to dissipate. Another Victor. Charlie One. That's our SSGN. Got her. Con maneuvering, making turns for five. She is running away as well. Okay. Shoot two, three. Okay, two, three is away. I'll turn it towards the Charlie one. Okay, keep using active. We have both of these guys on the run. Okay, their torpedoes are starting to run out of fuel down here. As well. Oh no, they're hitting the sea floor. And they spiral down. We're good. Rick for ultra quiet. And this torpedo is about to hit the seafloor as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think we have both of these in the bag here. Thankfully, their counter launches weren't uh, super close. This is definitely our mission objective. Thank goodness. This thing's still spiraling down. Oh, and there we go. Got it. Okay. Let's secure from active. Switching the passive search. See if we can still maintain contact on these guys. They're moving pretty quickly. The Charlie 1 is moving at 23 knots. She's near the surface as well. Well, we will see. We will see. I think we're going to be A-OK -okay here. Okay, our Mark 48 has acquired the Victor. And it is close. Well, it did acquire the Victor. It looks like it was thrown off by a noisemaker that was just dropped in the water. Let's have it swing back around and see if it'll reacquire the submerged contact. There we go. We got her. It is going. Okay, there we go. The right sub. Now it looks like she's operating at around 650 feet. Sonar, noise maker Another noisemaker in the zero, water. Two, two. Our other torpedo is still running towards the Charlie One. We are rigged for ultra quiet, running at five knots, and we are not using active sonar anymore. Is she going to hit the sea floor here? Oh my gosh, is she going to? Oh, it looks like she just skimmed it. That looked close from this display. Fire control, weapon acquired. Weapon has reacquired. Perfect. Con sonar, noise More noisemakers in the zero, water. Two, zero. Readjust. Reacquired. And this is a Victor 2, hopefully, out for the count. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, she's done for. 
is looking good. Yep, that's it. Impact. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing zero one nine. Contact breaking up. Okay, Tube 2 is still heading towards Sierra 2's last known position. However, we have lost contact on her. We could go active to try to reacquire here. That may be what we have to do. Uh, the torpedo is still pretty far away. Runtime, 24 minutes. How far away is this torpedo from our last known position? Around 4,000 yards, give or take. Let's begin reloading tube one. Not that I think we'll need it. We're actually clear to leave the combat area. Let's go active. Switching to active search. See if we can reacquire her. Also, we can get rid of all of these markers now. Hopefully we can pick her up here. Code array is deployed. Okay, you know what? Let's activate this torpedo. Got anything? Use active. Have it sweep back and forth a little bit here. I'm guessing she went deep and quiet. Yeah. Let's see, runtime 12 minutes. We should be able to catch her. Okay, there was a launch. There was a launch right here. We had a launch. Looks like she's operating shallow. Bring our torpedo up. Yeah, that Charlie just counter launched. Oh, come on. I know you can do it, Mark 48. Yeah, she is actively pinging now. Looks like she's trying to drop back down. We'll have our torpedo match. Con, fire, there we go, weapon fire. acquired. Right where I thought she was, pretty much, perfect. There's her torpedo that she counter, she just launched with. Con, so Passing con, right con, over con, our Mark 48. Three, three, six. I don't think that torpedo is gonna be much of a threat here. Well, actually, one, we can still leave the combat area. Which is kind of funny. Okay. Here we go, though. I think this is one Charlie one. Gone. Let's adjust. Looking good. Two torpedoes, two subs. We still have 10 minutes. This thing's dead to rights. Adjust. Come on, reacquire. You can do it. Okay, we'll have our Mark 48 swing back around. I was thrown off by that noisemaker. And you know what? There we go. Should be require now. Well, it's pretty much guided in. There we go. <laughs> that works. It was going to sink. All right. Right underneath the uh, dive planes there. Perfect. And that is a mission accomplished. We are clear to leave the combat area. That was pretty, uh, pretty good and pretty slick. And with that, we are clear to leave the engagement area. One Charlie 1 sunk and one Victor 2 sunk. 12,000 tons sent down to the bottom. System damage rudder. Um, I don't know how our rudder was damaged. Okay. Very pleased to see that you dealt with those enemy subs with steadfast resolve, Commander. Remember that for every, every enemy vessel we eliminate, we are one step closer to winning this war. Continue on. Did I forget to repair my rudder and port? Okay, here we go. Soviet submarines on the run. Convoys traveling to and from Europe report continually low levels of enemy submarine encounters. 
It is widely assumed that NATO anti-submarine efforts involving attack subs and patrol aircraft are keeping up the pressure on the Soviet Union's beleaguered underseas fleet. Okay, continue. Here we go, tactical situation. Intel reports that a wolf pack of enemy diesel electric attack subs will sail within the next seven days to attempt to transit the GIUK gap. They must be sunk before they get an opportunity to cause mayhem along the North Atlantic convoy routes. Okay, pack may consist of two to four boats. We are going to be patrolling green 12 and green 14. Okay. Southeast of the UK, Iceland, so to this line. Um, status report, damage control. What is my rudder really damaged? Indeed it is, and it looks like it has to be repaired in port. I guess I forgot to repair that. Interesting. Okay, we'll continue on. Let's head to the GIUK gap, and we'll patrol over here and wait for those C uh, the Soviet diesel electric boats. Okay, here we are, folks. We have encountered some enemy submarines off the coast of the UK. Let's bring up our UI, and looks like we've already identified one of them. It's a Foxtrot. Let's deploy the tow ray. Uh, it is very quiet. The surface is very calm. And, oh goodness, this is not going to be great. <laughs> if they're all heading straight for me. Okay, Sierra 3. A kilo? Yeah, I'll say it's a kilo. Is classified as Why not? Submerged submarine. We know they're all bad guys. Alright, three contacts already. Submerged submarine. Let's use some time compression. No layer or anything like that to protect us. What is this Foxtrot doing? Is it doing... Is it going backwards? Okay, this is the second time we've seen uh, an enemy submarine doing this. This is weird. Very strange behavior from the AI, but okay. Um, Sierra 4 is down here. What are you? Con sonar. Tango. Sierra 4 is classified as submerged submarine. And this is another Tango as well. Interesting. I don't like this. That's annoying. Um, with it this quiet as well, I think things are just going to get extremely spicy. So... We're going to wait until most of them are turned away. They're going to hear us launch. Oh my god. Okay, the fox trot is turning. This may be it here. Yeah, she's turning south. If they all start heading west, that's going to be our time to shoot. Two tangos. Um, Sierra 2 and Sierra 4, though, may be a little problematic. We are now in the fox trot's baffles. Okay, let's see. They will hear a launch, that's for sure. Let's see if Sierra 2 and Sierra 4 will end up turning away. Okay, we are dropping down to 650 feet. These submarines are commencing a steady turn away from us. Hopefully they'll put us in their baffles. Let's actually start turning two, 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 four. Helm I southwest try to speed up that little that process there and now we are nice and deep we are definitely in this fox trust baffles steady course yeah this is really just all about positioning at this point we're just going to lay and wait until the timing is as perfect as it can get and then we will fire um i see no need to go too crazy here and get ourselves killed Looks like this Foxtrot's turning. Still in her baffles. Let's increase speed to 10 knots. Make turns for one, zero knots. Check Maneuver here. Eye. All right, and we're okay. And we are going to continue Come to right head two, this way. Two, three, eight. Help yeah, this high. is going to work out just Come fine for help. us. Steady course. Make Let's drop down seven, one more, zero, zero feet, down 50 by. more feet. All right. Come Dive at seven zero zero feet. Dive by. And now we just wait. Get into position. Okay, now's the time to strike. We are in Sierra 2, Sierra 1, and Sierra 4's baffles. 
conditions. They are all operating near the surface. So we are going to set all of these torpedoes up. Okay. We will shoot tube one towards Sierra one. Okay, tube one away. All right, and you know what? Two, Con, fire control, unable to fire. Two, we'll go for Sierra two. I sir. Go tube two away. Have this one run like so, and you know what? We are just going to cut that wire. And here we go. Tube three. Fire. Aye, sir. Begin at reloading tube two. And there we go. That's three fish in the water against three targets. We are not sure where CR3 is. She could have heard all of those launches. We will shortly find out. But uh, I think this is going to be a pretty clean attack. All right, we are getting counter launches. Sierra 4 went active and started shooting. That means it is time to activate our torpedo. That's what that means. All right, activate one and activate two. This one's gonna head for Sierra 1. This one will head for Sierra 4. And this one hopefully will still go for Sierra 5. If it happens to acquire another uh, target, then one of our wire guided torpedoes will be redirected. Okay. Things are heating up. Only one torpedo was launched from Sierra 4, and now she is running at, looks like, 15 knots near the surface cavitating. Probably not the best move, and that torpedo looks like it is going to miss us quite easily. Let's get away from that pinging noise. This looks pretty good, though. Torpedo should acquire. This torpedo is now active. Let's see if it acquires something. Hopefully... It does go for its intended target. Gone. Fire control. There we weapon go. Acquired. It looks like this weapon acquired CR1, which is not what we want. We want it to go for four. And there you go, my friend. All right, yeah, we are going to be able to evade this torpedo relatively easily. I think we're going to continue our course, maintain our speed. Actually, if anything, let's drop down to five knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. And you know what? I think this torpedo... Has a really good chance of acquiring Sierra 4. So we're going to bring this torpedo towards Sierra 2. There's uh, Sierra 3. We have the new other Tango acquired. Good, good, good. We will fire upon that once uh, we lose one of our wires here. This looks good, though. There we go. Here's a launch. That's Sierra 3 for sure. Yep, there we go. And we got a launch from the Foxtrot. Okay, lots of torpedoes on the water. Looks like... And it's close enough to where I'm going to increase our speed to 10 knots. Okay, this torpedo has definitely acquired something. Looks like it's acquired the Foxtrot. In that, in that case... If it's going for the Foxtrot, we want this one to go for CR4. Uh, the woes of only having two wires. Okay, see our two's cavitating. It's to be expected. Check here. This torpedo needs to drop down to around 700 feet where Sierra 2 is operating at. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, we're golden. All of our torpedoes have a target. Things are getting a little, little chaotic here. This torpedo has ended up going for the Foxtrot, which is not what I expected, but that's fine. You can have it. And with this, that'll be three enemy subs taken out. And we only have one to deal with. Should be a piece of cake. Torpedo's looking good. Looking nice. <laughs> Man, this is pretty, uh, all of these subs are going to get sunk at around the same time. That's pretty funny. How, uh, well synced this is. Okay, and there's, uh, CR3, and we have a good beat on her now. She is running away. 
And uh, say goodbye to this tango. Adios, amigo. All right, that's one tango taken out. Tango number two. Be reacquired here momentarily. Okay, the fox shot's gone. There we go. And there it is, Sierra two. All right, one, two, and three. Well, and let's go ahead and just uh, launch tube two. Get it out of there. Again, reloading just in case we need it, but uh, oh, did we really lose the wire? No, no, we have the wire. Okay. I was like, oh my goodness. All right. Heck yeah. Like dominoes. I love it. That was pretty good. Okay. We have one torpedo kind of heading this way. Let's adjust our course slightly. New heading. 219. And uh, we'll maneuver away from that. We'll maintain our 10 knots. I see no reason to change that up now. And yeah, we're doing good. One more to go. Our torpedo is getting pretty close to the target. We are going to have it go active and begin searching around. Let's also have it come up to around 400 feet. That should hopefully help us out here. Uh, we were tracking her. She was heading west. I suppose I could go active. Let's go active Con once. Sonar, switching to active search. See if we get Con something. Sonar, switching to passive Turn it search. off. Come on, Mr. Tango. She launched a few torpedoes just straight to the east. They were so far off, so... Okay, Con one more sonar, ping. Switching to active search. Give me something to play with here. Let's swing our torpedo around. Nothing. Okay. Well, secure Con from sonar, active search. Switching the passive search. I just have to hope our torpedo can acquire something out here. Who knows where she is? I'm surprised active isn't picking up anything. Con sonar, switching to active search. Let's reduce speed to five knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Clear up some of that noise. We're at our last known position now. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. All the search is on. We have 10 minutes to find her. Hopefully we'll be able to do it in that time. Okay, we got her. She started cavitating. And we picked her up. Let's secure from active. We can actually leave the combat area again. We've been engaging these guys from pretty far distances. We have um, eight minutes on our torpedo. We should be able to take out this tango in that time. Awesome, all right. Yeah, she is done for. This four this is going to be four noisemaker bearing Soviet two, diesel nine, electrics three. taken out. That's pretty good overall. Didn't even have to evade a torpedo once, really. Well, you know, the white knuckle type of evasion. We just really moved out of the way, which is how I prefer to evade torpedoes, uh, if I'm being honest. Weapon acquired. Okay, weapon has acquired, heading for the tango. And that will be three more tangos Con taken sonar. out. We have destroyed a lot of tangos two, in this series. Nine, four. Admittedly, I am curious when we will get our final mission. I, we have not failed a mission yet. And I was kind of thinking uh, finishing this series by the end of the year would be possible, but who knows. All right, Con here we go. Sonar. Impact. Contact. Sierra three, right in front of the sail. And that's one more tango going down. Well, folks, that will do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.